2021. So today we are looking at tarot, blah, blah, like always, and oracles. But of course, we will also open the blessings to see what blessings are coming your way. And especially we will look at love, okay? Like separately with different sets. And of course, I will have a surprise. We will look at um, messages from future spouse. Just to give you a little treat. So let's start with the cards that fell down. Uh, like seven of pentacles rivers. I feel like you're going to get some results of work, of manifestation, maybe even <laughs> doing magic, whatever you've been doing. Uh, like you're doing small steps, small work in preparation for growing one day or you're just doing stuff for the long run. And that is good. But I feel like uh, whatever you're doing, it's not producing the results and it's giving you some sort of frustration. So, you know how Seven of Pentacles is a card like when you reassess, when you reevaluate your actions, your whatever you've done, uh, the outcomes, and like analyze, yeah? But in reverse, it's like, you're not going to want to <laughs> analyze, but you're going to have to analyze, yeah? Like I see a bit of a dissatisfaction here with the results. The thing is that you're going to have to go back to beginning and redo like maybe you've done a prototype and it hasn't turned out as you thought and you have to go back in the beginning back to the designer part or like just go back to hard work uh, you already feel like you've done a lot but there's so much more that needs to go into it and you haven't planned okay you haven't think thought that you're gonna have to need so much energy to achieve your goal but your goal is something that you really want. So you still are prepared. So with the Knight of Pentacles, you have to go slow, of course. Go slow and go steady, okay? And with Temperance here, like, be patient. <laughs> you need to go slowly, patiently. And don't forget what you've achieved so far. Okay, so, so far you have achieved something that could give you this... <coughs> emotional peace inside that you are still on the right track and sooner or later you're gonna move forward you're gonna uh, rise up you're gonna level up sooner or later but as long as you keep your peace and patience and you keep your focus and you do what you need to do okay see also ten of pentacles is in reverse hmm this one makes me think something. Like maybe you need to ask for help somebody. But not just anyone, because here we have something else. I don't know if this is connected to the upper road. Kind of seems out of everything, doesn't make any sense. But when it comes to money, uh, I wouldn't invest at this point. I wouldn't invest money, I would invest rather time and effort at this point. And here we have the Lovers and Queen of Cups. So this, this could be some trouble in paradise or someone <coughs> in your life, a female figure that you have a bit of a, a beat or maybe a lot of I not I don't see fights. It's just parting ways because you no longer feel this person. Like maybe the person betrayed you. Maybe you don't trust them enough. Yeah, Queen of Cups doesn't necessarily mean a bad person. Like I would be more scared if she was like Wands Rivers or something. Queen of Cups. She's... I don't know, she might lie about something. Yeah, so you, you're you not going to tolerate probably this person around. So if you're thinking of asking people for help or collaborating, don't do with a female that lied to you or disappointed you 
or whatever. Like we have done creative and creativity. So the answer lies in creativity, okay? The answer doesn't lie in some crazy business uh, plans. And it doesn't lie in some tricks and I don't know, whatever they're selling online. It just use your imagination, do work with your hands, work with your imagination. And again, do small steps. The card is saying do small steps. And you eventually come to the point where you get that, what you are searching for, okay? If you have so much to do and don't know how to organize or don't feel like doing it, just do, do a small portion of it. Then it says try something new, yeah. Yeah, this is the thing, yeah. You want to resist trying new things. You don't feel like trying new things. But you're gonna have to. It's like, it's not what you thought it's gonna be. And I could be talking about business or whatever it is. Like, whatever you are experiencing failure, it's because you need to think outside of the box and you need to go back to the beginning. Yeah. There's going to be unpleasant surprises. I opened the book to see. Like, it's gonna shake you and it's gonna challenge you. And yeah, you are forced to change something you don't want to force. You see, try something new and you are forced to change it, but you don't want to force it. Whether it is person you're working with or person in your life, like something becomes evident that is just not working out and you are forced to change and you don't want to change it. It's going to be a bit of a storm, a bit of a surprise. But after that, it's going to clear the path. And after that, you're going to have like clear vision and calmer. Like maybe you've been trying to work on your, let's say weight loss and it, it didn't work out. It's because someone in your life was causing this emotional distress, something you were fighting with someone, maybe getting over a past lover, something, and you didn't want to deal with it, you didn't, but you're going to have to deal with it. Maybe you were still with the person that was putting you down. Uh, you're going to have to leave the person. So, something in that sort, but you're not going to want to. But something's gonna happen and it's gonna shake you and it's gonna tell you, listen, it's more than obvious that this has to change, okay? So expect things like that, but don't be scared. Like, I don't think it's something like, you're not gonna die from it. <laughs> it's for the better. I feel like this, okay? So let's look at love. I have the Romans Angels cards and, yeah, I will shuffle them now. <laughs> While we're waiting, I want to tell you that I made a 99 portal video where you can uh, check the energy for September. But I also put in there, because now we're looking love separately, I also put in there uh, career separately. So if you're deciding between... I put four different options. If you're deciding between two, three different career paths, even four, like you can pick there a number and see what the each career path brings you and which one is the best and what can happen if you go that way. So then we have express love and then relationship from past life. I feel this one and this one. And these two I don't feel okay. So express love. You're gonna have to make a move. Oh, <laughs> and it's safe for you to love. This will happen very soon. <clears throat> Maybe you meet someone you really like. 
but you don't dare to go towards them. You don't dare to show them you like them or not. And that leaves you like a little bit uh, standing there, stranded. Uh, yeah, the issues from the past relationships got you like paralyzed. And now you don't let yourself express love or even express that you want love or that you need love. Um, I would say that, I don't know, just do a small flirty thing. You don't have to do big things. If you're shy, if you haven't been in relationships or if you are not the type to do the first move, just like push yourself, okay? Every time you say, you see it saying do the small steps in the other cards. Every time do just a little tiny thing to improve. Then we have rest and wait. Okay. Rest and wait. So like make sure that the person you like is actually worth your time and energy. Hmm. Maybe you need to wait for the right kind of person, the one that is kinda meant. Like these days I'm doubting these things like oh someone is meant for you, blah blah. But I guess you need to wait to discover what happens. There needs to be healing, mother healing. This reminds me of this card. Yeah. Then like healing of your feminine energy. And uh, you need to wait because you're gonna ha get a sign. You're going to be like touched by needles and you're gonna get the energy from the above to do what you need to do and to get some blessings when it comes to love. So rest, wait, don't hurry. But when it comes time, don't hesitate. It's safe for you to love and don't worry, it's coming soon. But you need to wait for the right moment and the right person. Meanwhile, you can heal a little bit about your feminine energy. You don't have to be the one uh, that makes the first move. As I said, you don't have to be the one rushing in towards the person, but you can show them that you're open, that you are receptive. Maybe with a smile, maybe with a gesture, okay? Then let's look at the messages from your future person. Future person from the past life. <laughs> oh, something jumped. Okay. We have, I'm strong for you when you need me to. We will overcome this together. So they will help you heal this energy. Very nice. Ooh. I wanted to shuffle on cam, but stuff kept jumping and wait, something fell on the floor. Let's pick it up and see. They wanted to come by themselves. They didn't want me to pull them out. So we will be having so much fun together. Okay. And then... You look so familiar. Have we met before? Uh-huh. So this will be the sign. Like you're going to feel them as someone you've met before. Would you be my wife? Say yes. <laughs> so you're probably a woman watching this. Or I don't know. I don't know. But a feminine energy. Oh. And now we have some blessings to check. What is coming your way? Let's see for Aries. Whoa, a lot wants to come. I did shuffle those, of course. For Aries is special. Wow, how many things wanted to come? Let's see this one first. Health. Okay. Money. There will be, there will be money coming. Don't worry. And insight, so you will learn something, and I think it's connected with healing because it glided me here. You will learn how to heal, and you will learn how to, like with rest and with relaxation, yeah, going to nature, you can heal yourself. Then we have forgiveness. 
maybe connected to her mother. There will be proposal. Yeah, we had a proposal here. Then closure. You will get closure about past relationships, perhaps. And success. You see, there is no need to doubt. Success will come. And happiness is the most important. Then we have luck. And we had waves of prosperity. Something will end and the truth will come out. And then you can use this end for the new beginning that is waiting you. I really like your reading. I know it started kind of bad, but that's why those who watch the whole, <laughs> the whole reading get rewarded in the end. So I hope you have a beautiful autumn. Check out my Nine Nine portal and other videos, other video cards, and see you. Thank you for pushing some likes. Bye bye.